Now going on to the topic of OmniGlow, my uh, stereo coaxial homemade device. Uh, before I begin the talk, I bring greetings from Gujarat to the God's own country. Gujarat is the, uh, as you all know, western state in which Bhavnagar is located here. We are a port city of four lakh population and it's a lion state, the last uh, Asiatic lion's habitat. And in my city, Gandhiji studied uh, his college education before going to uh, England. And this was the state which was first to join Union of India. The Maharaja, then Maharaja of Bhavnagar handed over the state to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. So the modern India began from Bhavnagar, we can say. Let us understand, <coughs> coming to the topic, let us understand what is a conventional mono uh, paraaxial illumination. As you all know, the schematic of the optic, op optics of the microscope is that there is an objective lens, then there is a zoom optic. There is a beam deflector prism which directs the beam at 45 degree and the eyepiece optics and the surgeon's eye is here and the patient's eye is here. Now in a conventional illumination system, the light comes from here, either by fiber optic or by a lamp put here. And then there's a full mirror which is placed as close to the zoom optic as possible which is deflected downward. Now, because you cannot bring the mirror closer than the diameter of the lens, zoom lens itself, there is a minimum angle between the angle of illumination, uh, b between the line of illumination and the line of the surgeon's vision. So the closest you can bring is about two to three degrees. And if the pupil here is slightly, const if the pupil is here not very well, well dilated, the area of the illumination on the retina is not full what the surgeon is observing. So the retina which is being observed by the surgeon is only partially illuminated by the light which is coming at an angle. As a result of which you will get only a half glow. The superior half will be brightly glowing. The inferior half of the pupil will not be brightly glowing. And if the pupil constricts from here, the iris will cut off the light going onto the retina and you will see that the glow is almost lost. And if you look at from the patient's perspective, this is the right eye of the surgeon and the left eye of the surgeon represented in the zoom optic. And there is a triangular mirror here which is giving one beam of light. So the minimum distance between the incident ray of light and the center of the visual axis of the surgeon is at least 11 to 12 millimeters and hence this angle. Now, <coughs> in stereo coaxial illumination which I have designed, it's not a, an absolute design but it is redesigned or indigenization of the redesigning, in which we have used a specially coated mirror under the objective lens which is a full mirror for the light coming horizontally but which is a vertic which is a glass, transparent glass for the light which is going back. So what happens is that the light beam comes, strikes this mirror, goes down onto the retina and comes back and passes through this glass and goes onto the optic. As a result of which the area of observation of the retina as well as the area of the illumination of the retina is exactly the same. Hence, you will get a full red reflex in any size of pupil, in any position of the eyeball. And because there are two light sources representing one eye of each eye of the surgeon, you get the full red reflex in each of your eye. So the surgeon gets full omnipresent red reflex throughout the surgery, no matter the size of pupil, no matter the position or tilting of the eyeball. Now having understood the importance of stereo coaxial red reflex in glow and depth perception, in steps like capsular axis, trench depth control, early perception of the posterior capsular rent, cortical cleanup and anterior capsule cleanup, I applied for a bank loan to buy a Lumera for rupees four million, but my banker said your balance sheet is not good enough and they refused. As we know that the necessity is the mother of invention 
And meanwhile, I came across this picture of the African boys who made their own billiard tab table. So I thought, let me make my own Lumera device. So I revisited our textbooks and studied Van Hemholt's principles of coaxial illumination, the principle A, B, and C. And then did a lot of thinking and then arranged few optics and did some experimentation and created my own device having its own two LED light sources and a specially coated mirror over here and an attachment plate which will fix this device onto the bottom of the microscope. And this is how the device gets fitted under the microscope. This is my uh, Carl Zeiss Zena microscope. This can be fitted. I have made an adapter for so far for uh, Wild or Leica M690. Also made one adapter for Zeiss Opme CS and an adapter for uh, Zeiss 1FR. And as you can see that this device externally gets coupled to your microscope without altering the surgical distance, you can see that still there is enough gap for the clearance between the instrument tip and the omniglow. As you can see, this is an external device which can be easily detached or attached under a microscope in no matter of time. You just unscrew one screw and uh, you can remove it or attach it. In a conventional microscope, we know that there is a sweet spot, no? The glow, full glow, you will get only at one place, like Jalak Diklaja, Ekbar Raja. It keeps on coming and going. You, you have to slightly manipulate. But when you switch on the omni-glow, stereo coaxial ray reflex, the glow is uniform and full red throughout the position of the eyeball. And then when the disc comes in front, the glow becomes so bright. So if you tilt the eyeball a little and the disc comes in front, let us see a case of dense PSC cataract. Even in a dense PSC cataract, you can get very good glow. The various uh, steps, the capsular axis. It's not only the visibility improves, but even the video recordability also improves. Improves like anything. This is a simple Vartec single CCD camera. The hydro dissection and the excellent perception of the fluid wave. You always get a uh, uh, golden ring. Always get a golden ring. And the FACO procedures become so much beautiful to see. It is a completely different pleasure to be operating under a stereo coaxial illumination. And you really have to use it uh, to feel that. I made six units uh, to do a multicenter clinical trial and nobody is giving me back. <laughs> the blood behind the eye, see the clarity improvement. No glow in small pupil when the conventional light is on, but a full glow when the dual stereo coaxial illumination is on. And this is my conventional light of my microscope, and these two are my stereo coaxial illumination. And every day in my every OT, my Omni Glow gives me a nice combined smile of the first Purkinje image on the lens. And not only it gives smile to me, it brought smile on my wife and my daughter's faces also because they saved two kilograms of gold. 
and I welcome you all to join hands with me and say the same. Thank you.